In this video, we will discuss how to figure out the pH of a solution in which there is a common ion and how a common ion affects uh, the pH. So when we solve these problems, it's good to know that we're going to use rice tables. Um, the only difference is that for our common ion is that its initial concentration will not be zero. Okay, and so this is, we're going to do the math of shifting a reaction using Le Chatelier's principle, but what we can do is we can kind of predict what will happen. So we've got a reaction here where I'm taking HF and it dissociates into H plus and F minus, and the question first asks, what happens if I add NAF to the system if it's already at equilibrium, and which way does the reaction shift? So we got to first think, what is the common ion here? I don't have any sodium in my reaction, but I do have F. So F minus is my common ion, so I can think of this as increasing. Well, if that increases, my reaction will shift left. And then in part uh, B, it says, how does this affect the pH? Well, if we shift left, Some of this H plus is consumed. And because it is consumed, what that means is there's less hydrogen ions. And that makes the solution less acidic. H plus is consumed and the solution becomes less acidic. And I always have to slow down when I answer a question on pH because I've got to think if the solution becomes less acidic, the pH actually increases. And that's because it's a negative log scale. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work through a problem where we're going to get the pH and then we're going to add something to it. We're going to predict which way it will shift and then we're going to prove it with math. Okay, so we need to calculate the pH of a solution that's one liters and it's point or 2.222 molar nitrous acid. So what I can do is say HNO2 aqueous plus HOH. This will give me NO2 minus one aqueous plus H3O plus one aqueous and I can say okay this is 2.22 molar water of course is just x zero zero it'll shift right and so we end up with something that looks relatively familiar with 2.22 minus x x and x so ka and we can use ka because we're producing h3o plus one it's equal to NO2 minus 1 um, times H3O plus 1. And um, we'll divide that by HNO2. And that will equal, and I'm going to make this just a little bit smaller. That will equal X squared divided by... 2.22 minus x, and that will equal 4 times 10 to the minus 4. Using the 5% rule, I can get rid of minus x, and so that'll go away, and I will solve for x. x is equal to 2.98 times 10 to the minus 2. If I take the pH of that, pH is equal to negative log h plus so pH equals negative log 2.98 times 10 to the minus 2. And I know when I take the negative log of that, the pH will be a little bit less than 2, and it is at 1.53. Part B says, okay, we have this pH and this solution. What's going to happen if I add lithium nitrite to it? Okay, so what is the common ion? The common ion, if I look... I don't have any lithium in my reaction up here, so it's not lithium, but I do have nitrite, okay? So nitrite 
is my common ion. So if that increases over here, the reaction should shift left. H3O plus one is consumed in that process. And when H3O plus one is decreased, when the hydrogen ion concentration is increased, we are less acidic and pH increases. So that's what we're expecting to have happen. So we have solved for the pH of the original solution, but now, and that was originally the pH equals 1.53. And now we want to prove that in fact, after we add this common ion, the pH will change. So the first thing I need to do is say, okay, 15.3 grams of LiNO2. I'm gonna get that to moles. I give it to you 52.92 grams of LiNO2 in one mole of LiNO2. And that solves out to be 0 0.289 moles of LiNO2, which I don't care about the lithium. I care just about the common ion, but because they're uh, bonded in a one-to-one -one ratio, this is also equal to 0 0.289 moles of NO2 minus one. Um, let me see, I think we started with one liter, and yep, we did, so that makes it nice. So the molarity is equal to moles over liters, which is 0 0.289 moles of NO2 minus one divided by one liter, which is 0 0.289 molar of NO2 minus one. And that is probably a little bit more work than what needed to be shown, but I just wanted to make sure I had it. I'm going to copy this reaction from above because it's still the same reaction. It's just what I plug into it will be a little bit different this time. I wanna make it just a little bit bigger. Okay, so from the beginning, we had 2.22 molar of HNO2. Water is just going to be an X. Nitrite is no longer zero. The hydrogen ion or the hydronium is zero, but nitrite is now 0 0.289 molar. We will shift right because we have to have something where this zero is because at equilibrium we have some of everything. So we still get a similar type problem. And what we end up getting is we're gonna write a K expression, Ka equals H3O plus one, NO2 minus one divided by HNO2. And that equals not x squared this time, but x times 0 0.8289 plus x divided by 2.22 minus x. And that still equals the same Ka, which is 4 times 10 to the minus 4. This math is pretty ugly, so to make it a little bit easier, we're going to get rid of the minus x and plus x using the 5% rule. The reason we can do that is we still have this X over here that is still um, present. So we still have a variable to solve for. I'm gonna multiply each side by 2.22. And um, when I do that, I'm gonna have X times 0 0.289 equals Eight point eight eight times ten to the minus four, divide by point two eight nine, and x is three point oh seven times ten to the minus third. Okay, and x represents hydronium. So if I take the negative log of that, I'll get the pH. pH equals negative log H plus or I could put H3O plus one. 
I know the pH will be a little bit less than 2. And the pH is 2.51. So let's see, did the pH actually increase when I added a common ion here? The pH was 1.53. We expected the pH to increase. We did some math and we proved that it did in fact increase.